welcome to the health proxy channel this channel is where we provide you with healthy tips and strategies as to how you can live and maintain a healthy lifestyle in this video we are going to do a presentation on healthy eating and nutrition for the elderly but before we get to the presentation please remember to subscribe to this channel and also to like share and comment on this video Without further ado, let us get to the video presentation. Healthy eating and nutrition for the elderly is greatly impacted by several factors, one of them being a change in body composition. During the later years in life, the body will lose bone and muscle and gain fat because the hormones aren't very active anymore. There are many factors which hinder an elderly person's health. The information provided in this video presentation will help you to lead a healthy life no matter how old you may be. Water in the body decreases with age, so many older folks will become dehydrated very easily. Sometimes they won't feel thirsty, while other times it's too much work to pour a glass of water. With this in mind, it's recommended that they drink at least 1 ounce of water for every 2.2 pounds of weight. At this stage in life, protein is very important. Protein is needed to support a healthy immune system and prevent the wasting of muscle. Since energy needs are less, older folks should eat high-quality proteins such as eggs, lean meats, poultry, and fish. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for the entire body. You can find carbs in bread, cereals, pasta, and other grain products. A diet that's high in fiber and water will help to prevent constipation as well. Fat intake for the elderly should be limited, not eliminated. You can limit fat by choosing lean meats, low-fat dairy products, and food preparation methods that don't include frying. For the elderly, iron deficiency can be seen with those who aren't eating much. Good sources for iron include lean red meats or breakfast cereals. Zinc intake is normally with the elderly, and to make matters worse, it's not absorbed very well either. Meat, poultry, and fish should be a part of your diet to help you meet the requirements for zinc. Calcium is one ingredient that most elderly folks simply aren't getting enough of. Most believe that milk upsets their stomach, and therefore they will avoid it. They should be getting around 1,500 mg of calcium a day, and non-fat powdered milk can be used in recipes as a substitute for milk. Other foods such as yogurt, low-fat cheese, and broccoli can also help you meet the requirements for calcium. In order to absorb the benefits of B12, the intrinsic fat cutter must be produced by the stomach. Most elderly people suffer from a deficiency in B12 because they have a condition known as atrophic gastritis. This condition causes inflammation of the stomach, bacterial overgrowth, and the intrinsic factor. Without the intrinsic factor, this vitamin can be absorbed. Each one of the above nutrients are needed to keep an aged body in good health. Elderly individuals should try to stay active and strive for a well-balanced diet. Even though the aged body isn't the same as it used to be, proper care and the right nutrients can help the elderly enjoy a healthy and long life. 